The role of a Christian leader is to refuse to lead. Um, and, and what do I mean by that? Now, by the way, that's a vital role. That doesn't mean you can just go away and do nothing. No, no, someone has to refuse to lead. There has to be someone who takes no responsibility, okay, right? Um, you need, yeah, and I'm a big advocate of this. There, are, there has to be someone who says it's not my fault. So the, the, if you think about analysis, right, you've got an analyst and you've got an analyzant, the person being analyzed, and people often think that the role of the analyst is to tell you what the problem is, to assess your behavior, to tell you what the, how can I be healed, how, what can I do? But of course, the real role of the analyst is to refuse to be an analyst, to push back so that you come to that place for yourself, so that you find the answer. So ironically, you need an analyst who refuses to be an analyst. You need someone who refuses to do it. So every time, because there's a tendency, that's what Jacques Lacan, a French theorist, said, said, what do we want? We want a leader we can dominate. You know, that's what I want. I want someone at the front of church, I want Rob Bell to say exactly uh, what I want him to say. And then if it doesn't work, I can blame him. Don't have to blame him. You said that if I prayed for my child, my child would be better, and it didn't happen. Therefore, I'm leaving this church. Whatever it is, they're, they're, they're making you take responsibility for them rather than taking responsibility for ourselves. So leaders who refuse to lead are the ones who are always trying to push back 